Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and today we're going to take a look at the Helite GP Air Track Airbag Vest available at Revzilla.com. So on the left hand side, I've got my buddy Chris and he is currently rocking the GP Air Track Airbag Vest from Helite. Now this is going to be a step up from their Turtle Vest. This is going to come in around the $830 price point, which is a $200 premium over the Turtle Vest. And this is a very specific item. This is for those of you out there that are looking to use this over a track suit on the racetrack when you're out there with your motorcycle. You're going to notice that this is going to have a slim down fit but it's still gonna give you that same level of airbag protection that you're seeing with the turtle vest. Now, really what you're gonna get into first before you focus on anything else is how you wanna size this up. Sizing for this will range from a small up to an extra large. Chris stands at six foot, weighs 160 pounds, and has a 36 inch chest. He's a skinny little dude. Now, what you'll notice when you're sizing this up, you're gonna have two different ways of getting this Velcro secured. You're gonna have one panel on the inside and you need to make sure that all that red is gone. If you have any red showing through, the vest is too small for you, you need to size up to the next size. So that's a really easy indicator of whether or not that is gonna to be too small for you. The other thing you'll notice on the inside here, this is where your 60 gram canister is gonna go. So when you're loading this up, it's gonna load up the exact same way that we talked about with the Helite airbag turtle vest. You're gonna have your canister which screws in, and then you're gonna have your ball system down below. Once you close this up, you're gonna notice there's gonna be the extra layers of Velcro on the top. You wanna to make sure that you have a nice secure fit. All the red is gone. You can't see any red showing through. And then you have that extra layer of Velcro on the top of this. Now, when we're talking about changes over the turtle vest, like we said, this is that $200 premium over the turtle vest. When you're looking at the inflation times, this is gonna inflate at 75 milliseconds versus 100 milliseconds when you're looking at something like the turtle vest. It's simply going to give you an extra bit of inflation time because crashes on the track happen like that. So the other thing you'll note is this is an analog system. You know, we've talked about Helite many times. There's a lot of video content that we put behind this because it's a really innovative product, but it's not gonna be as sophisticated as some of the digital systems that we're seeing out there. It's also not gonna come in at the same price point. Like I said, this is around that $830 mark where some of the other, you know, more digital systems are upwards of, you know, $2,000. So what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a tether system which straps around the frame rail on the bike. In the event of a crash, the tether will pull. The little ball that we saw in there earlier pops out and the vest will inflate. Now, we'll pop this on Chris in just a moment, but let's work through the rest of the vest first. So what you'll notice on this is you're gonna have 1.2 mil grade cowhide in the abrasion zones. You're also gonna have a variety of stretch materials that give you a great range of motion, but they're also gonna to work to stretch if the airbag is actually inflated. Now, Chris, do me a favor and have you face sideways and strike the riding position for me. In addition, to this, in addition to this stretch that we're gonna see come up the neck, you'll notice you're gonna have a massive amount of accordion stretch down the side. And again, the last thing you want when you're out there on the racetrack is to feel like you're you know, being strangled on your motorcycle. You want a nice free range of motion. And that's one of the things that I really like about this. It's definitely slimmer and a lot more lightweight than what we saw with the turtle vest, really focusing on a very specific rider, the rider that wants to be able to move freely on the racetrack, but wants maximum protection. Chris, you can go ahead and face backwards for me. You will notice that there is stretch material running along the very top of this. And again, one of the things that really sets Helite apart is when this inflates, it will immobilize the head, it will immobilize the helmet. So once we inflate this, you'll see that this actually acts as almost a neck brace to make sure that you know if Chris is out there tumbling around, it's gonna do its best to support his head in the event of a crash. The biggest difference you'll see over the turtle vest is you're gonna have a cutout for a race hump. So the airbag itself is designed to work around that race hump, and because of this, there's not gonna be a back protector included. When we talked about the turtle vest, it had that CE level two back protector, you're not getting that here, so you still need to make sure you're utilizing your standalone back protector underneath the race suit when you're on the track. This isn't a substitute for that. So CE level two back protector on underneath your race suit, make sure you're protected. And then what you're gonna have here is there is gonna be a light layer of TPU, which is gonna be a hard plastic that's gonna be a shell, which will protect the airbag in the event of crash. You're also gonna have that leather on the outside, that 1.2 millimeter leather, and then the airbag channels work itself underneath there. And then you will notice you do have the Helite logo down in the bottom. So, Chris, let's turn around. So Chris is out there. He's on his motorcycle, he's ripping around the track. 
And one of the things you'll note is that this is going to require a nice, tough pull. So you're not going to have to worry about accidentally pulling this. You're getting nervous on me, aren't you? So he's ripping around the track. All of a sudden, somebody cuts him off. He goes down, and bam. So what you'll notice is you've got that full airbag protection. It works its way around the chest. His neck is going to be supported. Chris, go ahead and turn backwards for me. You're going to notice that this is going to come all the way up the back, giving him that extra airbag protection. That airbag is going to give him support around the back of the neck. And again, it works to mobilize the head on this, giving you, you know, the same protection you expect from a neck brace while this is inflated. Chris, you can go ahead and turn around forward. So for those of you that are looking to add an extra layer of protection for your race suit setup, this is definitely going to be an addition that's going to give you that extra level of airbag protection in a very simple analog form. Now, there's a lot of riders out there utilizing Helite on their racetrack setups. And if you want to hear more about what those riders have to say, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting this vest through its paces. If you have more questions for our gear geeks as to which airbag setup is right for you and your style of riding, you can give them a shout at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email, cs at ribzilla.com. Thank you for joining me and Christopher as we showed you the Helite GP airbag track vest. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.